Hello, Michael from Miller Roofing and Renovations. This is Joel from JND SEO, and I'm going to show you three ways you can improve your website and actually beat some of your competition online. Now, I don't want to waste your time, Michael. I don't want to waste mine, so I'm going to make this as quick as possible. If at the end of the video you want to hear some more information or have any questions, we could set up a five, ten minute phone call. If not, no big deal. I'm going to give you a bunch of free tips and strategies in here, and you could go ahead and actually apply those directly to your site. All right, so the three things we'll talk about today are content, backlinks, and citation. So let's kind of jump in. As you can see, I'm on your homepage here. You guys do have a beautiful looking site. You've got your nice headers, that's probably a job that you guys have done. I see your truck parked out front. It's a beautiful house. You guys do have some information here on kind of your company and the services that you offer, which is awesome. I like these. And then you guys have some more information here, some reviews, and some submit, submit forms as well as some information. That's awesome. This is all really good. And I see you guys do have a blog, which is a really good thing. So Google, um, what they care about the most is all of this, right? They want to know how much content do you have? How much words do you have on your page? So what we're going to actually do is find that out, that answer. We're going to take a look. How much content do you guys have on your page? And let's see, we see you guys have 521 words of content. Now, Google actually recommends having about 1,500 words to 2,000 words of content. So definitely adding some more content would be one way that you guys could help your page. And if you see, I just put in a, a random search, roofing Memphis, Tennessee for the area. It's a really good one. Um, and I'm going to just scroll down to the organic section. This is where companies come up. First actual company, because we don't count the Better Business Bureau, that's just a directory, is Masters Roofing. So I've taken their site, and I want to do the same thing, right? If they're at the top of the rankings in Google, I want to know what are they doing, right? So that's what we want to do. How much content do these guys have? Because if we want to beat them in the rankings, we've got to beat them in all three topics we talk about. And the first one's content. So only 597 words. So we, we know right away they wouldn't be very difficult to beat. So if we got our 1,500 to 2,000 words of content, that alone would put us way ahead of master's roofing. Now, just having the content isn't enough. We also need to make sure that we have in those keywords in the content. So I've used to use Roofing Memphis, Tennessee as an example. It's a really good keyword that new customers are going to search online looking for someone. And we're going to find that these ads are going to be the first thing that somebody sees. So that's one way to get onto the Google search first page. Second option would be to get on the map pack or the GMB, Google My Business. We'll talk about that in a little bit. And the other option is the organic section, which is the most common ways that most people probably get on the first page would be to get your biz your site actually ranked on here based on having 1500 to 2000 words of content and the other option and, and having those keywords and Google needs to know they can trust your site. So I've taken your site millercompanyroofing.com, put it into a program I pay for called Aris. This just allows me to kind of see how your site's performing. First thing I notice, we've got your business name up here with some headers on your page. That's a good thing. It allows Google to find you a little bit easier. And then let's dive into some of the numbers. So backlinks is our second topic. And right now I see you have five backlinks on two referring domains. So backlinks are links that when people click them, it's going to redirect them to your site. Just like if I clicked MillerCompanyRoofing.com right here, it's going to bring me directly to your website. So, and referring domain, a great example would be a Facebook business page. If you guys have one of those, that would be a referring domain. And then where you put your web address just like this into your Facebook business page, that would be a backlink. And when you click on that, it's going to bring you to your site. Now, the more referring domains or websites that point back at your site, it's going to raise Google's trust in you. So the two you guys have are actually good sites. So you see they do have some power behind them. Unfortunately, we're just not showing enough information to kind of rank this. This would be a little wheel like this one, and you guys would have a number for your trust. Now, because this isn't really showing up yet, you guys do show up for three keywords um, in searches, but unfortunately, they're bringing zero actual visitors or traffic to your website. So let's hop over to Masters. Um, they don't actually have any headers, so that's one thing they could do better themselves. But they have 207 backlinks on 107 referring domains or websites, with 107 sites pointing back at them and 89 of them being strong. We can see they've got a trust here with Google of a 17. The higher this goes, the more keywords you're going to be found for. They've got about just under 900, 897. And they're bringing in about 524 actual visitors to their website every single month. So you're probably thinking, how are we going to be able to compete with those 107 referring domains and 207 backlinks? 
Well, what we can actually do is click the referring domains and the backlinks, and we can look at all the sites that they are linked to. And we can find the strongest ones, and we can actually go to those sites, and we can create a profile and get your site entered as well. And a lot, some of those, it doesn't cost money. Some of them, you do have to actually pay like a membership fee. Um, but we can get all the same ones. They're best uh, 89 here. We could take all of those. And then, of course, we would want to add more on top of that so that we could beat them as well. So then we would be ahead of them with backlinks, referring domains, with our content on our page, and, of course, putting those keywords in. So those, those are the things that are going to get us ahead of them in the organic rankings. And the fact that a directory is ahead of them is a good thing because directories are easier to beat than actual companies, which tells us that there's definitely some room there where we could squeeze in. Now, the other thing you could do to bring in more customers and get on the first page is to get in this map section, the top three. Top three show up on this preview window. You could view all to see the rest, but these three show up in the regular Google search, and they're going to get a ton of clicks and direct calls because you can see their phone numbers are here, as well as their websites too. So the way to do that is through citations, and that's when you get your business name, address, phone number, all listed together into directory sites such as Yelp, Yellow Pages, Home Advisor, just to name a few. Also your social media, Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, Instagram, all of those could be linked as well, and that will help. And the last way, the third way, would be if you guys wanted to pay for ads, you could. Um, and actually, it looks like you guys might be right now, because um, I do see your name pop up here. And you guys are one of the top ones that shows up. So you're already actually on the first page in that way as well. So but definitely probably for you guys adding some organically through uh, the map pack and through the organic section would be a way that if you didn't want to pay for the ads in the future, you wouldn't have to. But if it's just if you guys are getting a lot of business from it, then, you know, why, why stop there? Right. So why not have all three? All right, so I hope that you guys found this helpful. I will give you a call in just a day or two or so and just ask you if this was helpful and what your thoughts were on it. But thank you for your time. I really appreciate it, and have a great day.